Um, my boobs got bigger, so that was a plus. Hey. I went from like the itty itty bitty titty committee to like the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> so I was good. <laughs> The birth control pill, the implant, the pullout method, condoms, IUD, the vaginal ring, cycle tracking, the birth control shot. There isn't a shortage of options when it comes to birth control, but you may feel like there's a shortage of clarity around which is the best for you. And while no one can answer that question, but you and your healthcare professional, hopefully hearing other women speak candidly about their methods helps you with your decision about yours. Hi there lovers and friends. Yo, I am so over the moon to share this video with you guys. Now, most of the time I really love my job, but sometimes, and like this is one of those times, I just feel so overjoyed and in my purpose and in my flow and amongst my people. And I'm just really grateful to present this video to you guys. But before we do that, I have to introduce you to somebody, which is Bedsider, and they are my partner on this video. Bedsider.org is a free birth control support network for women eight to 29. Now, Bedsider does not care if you are using the pullout method, condoms, the pill, or an IUD, an implant, whatever it is that floats your boat, they just care that you have the power to decide. This video in particular is in conjunction with their Thanks Birth Control campaign, which in essence is exactly how it sounds. So I want to take this opportunity to say thanks, Birth Control. You have done so much for me. I am on two different forms of birth control right now. I have an IUD a copper IUD which I've had for the past two years which I use to prevent pregnancy and I'm also on the pill the hormonal pill and that is to control my acne which is why I get to wear less makeup these days so I want to say thank you for that for giving me the power to decide and also the power to be and feel like my best self but enough about me I want you guys to meet all the women in the group who are incredible and the different variations of birth control that they're on I am on the Nuvering, which is um, kind of new for me well I've been on it for like a year now and I like it a lot I used to I think kind of standard is when you're a kid they say like you can go on the pill and the pill is like your normal go-to and I think recently people have become more creative and opened up new options for me and the Nuva Ring was one of those I am on the next Planon I think I said that right and that's the implant that you put in your arm and it just feels like this little like plastic rod and it's just sitting right there. I am on the hormonal IUD, so that's the Marina. Um, I've been on that for about... Hello, sister. <laughs> hey. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I've been on it for about a month and a half, two months now. I got on it in early May. I am on the copper IUD as well. Oh, my real sister, my yes, twin yes. sister. Yes, We're like yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm currently just using the pull-out method with condoms. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. So I am on the pill right now. Um, I'm also, if it's like a, a random sexual experience with condoms and if it's like a partner too, I'll do the pull-out method with its trusted person. As you can tell, it is a diverse range of different types of birth control that women have used and felt successful on, but I also asked them what else they used and what maybe did and didn't work for them in the past. Yeah. Um, I originally started off, the very first birth control I ever had was the depo shot and I gained 17 pounds in high school. Wow. I went from being like a flyer and cheerleader to like the base and then like the back spot, you know? It was like, and then I'm this tall, so at this, this point you're just like appeasing me. Yeah. So it's like I gained a lot of weight. Actually, I think I got acne from it. I've never really had issues until I got the depot shot. I did it one time and it scared the life out of me. So I went a long time without birth control and I was doing the pullout method for a long time. Yeah, the pill again was like a little hard for me. It helped clear up my acne, the first pill I was on, but then I'd have certain times where I didn't have a gynecologist. Um, and so, you know, I just, I'd mess up my, that's another reason why I like, like using what I use now because um, I don't like switching from like one medicine to another and like, it'll change my hormones. So I was on birth control for like almost a decade. I was on it since I was like 17 and I honestly had no problems with birth control pills. I like never gained weight. I didn't have any skin problems or anything. I was just on the pill. And then what happened was I went vegan and I was like trying to be all like non-hormonal and trying to like do things like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to, so that's why I wanted to do the copper because that has no, no hormones. Mm -hmm. And then when I did that, I had it in for about, I had it in October. 
but it was just like I was having the heavy bleedings. It just didn't work for my body. This seems like a simple question that's explained with the title birth control, but in truth, there's a lot of different ways that women say yes to birth control. And so I asked the group, what's your reason? So I use birth control. Um, I'm not always sexually active. I'm kind of on and off. Um, so it's not always tied to like being concerned about getting pregnant, although that's obviously um, some a reason. Um, I like to just be in control of like my body and my hormones and know when my period is coming and um, you know just have have a handle on all of it. You know, it makes me feel um, like an adult, like a woman. You know, like it just handling. yeah, I'm handling shit every time. <laughs> every time I put it in, I'm like. Good job, baby. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's been great. I got birth control when I was 17. Um, I wasn't sexually active yet, um, but my periods were all over the place. Like I had maybe like every two weeks and then every three weeks and then they'd be super heavy one time and then not heavy another time. And it's just a nightmare. Like you always have to have pads with you at all times or whatever you're using. And it was just a nightmare. Like I was doing sports, I was working, I was in school. Like it was just not doable. I use birth control because I don't want to get pregnant. Um, <laughs> I'm not at that place yet in my life where I feel like, yes, I am completely prepared. I think the kind of birth control that I use, well, the with the IUD, there's a bit of like, well, if it happens, it happens to it mm -hmm. because we're not using a barrier method protection. And mm -hmm. so that I think is like my halfway consolation prize of being like, I'm open to it, but I'm still closed for business because the fairy's up there chopping the sperm. <laughs> but I definitely, and I also use birth control um, for skin and for acne, for acne treatment. So it's like a dual purpose, awesome, magical part of my life. Birth control has allowed me to have the control and also the freedom to enjoy my body the way I want without feeling um, like, I don't want to say consequences or like just putting myself in a situation that I don't think I'm ready for, aka being pregnant. For the, with the, with the Mirena, it's been great for me. Um, it's, I haven't had a period since. I bled for about a month and a half. Um, which wasn't too bad. It was like really light spotting. So wearing a panty liner was Consider just you were always bleeding. Yeah, was chilling. I was so excited, and a lot, a lot of people are kind of it has kind of stigmatized about like not bleeding. But for me personally, like I'm all for it. I don't want to. I don't want my period right now, like at all. <laughs> you know, I don't want the cramps. I don't want anything. I like condoms because I feel like I'm not the only one who should have to worry about this in the relationship. Okay. You know, like why is it all on me to protect us from having a baby? Like why is that? all that stress on me. So um, it's a way that I can be like, go get those condoms. You're paying for that. You're doing that. Like, let's share this responsibility. We often think of birth control as something that we take, but in actuality, it really is something that gives back to us. And so I asked the women, in what ways has birth control impacted your life? I like the new ring. Um, I have control over it. I. Is it weird? I like know my body a little bit better because I'm like more comfortable down there. Um, oh, that's yeah, yeah. Because it's like at first. That was such a good sound, though. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, you know, when you're a little girl, you're so scared of your like, yeah. you know, like it's just like they don't teach you to communicate with your body as much. So it it was a little weird at first for me being comfortable with the idea of like going in there, taking it out, doing it every month. Um, but now I use that and I use the Diva Cup and I'm like, between these two friends, <laughs> I have my whole situation set up, you know, like I know what to do every month. Like it's, I, I like like the practicality and the, the tactile function of it, you know, like it just kind of like, it works for me. I didn't have, I haven't really ever had like acne, so that's always been nice. So I didn't really need it for that but it did just kind of like make my complexion a little bit better, uh -huh. which was nice. And yeah, that's been my experience on the pill. It was good, I liked it. I just didn't want a period anymore. So I went and got, not tested for the IUD, but just like kind of thought about the Nexaplan at first, but that kind of scared me. I didn't really want it in my arm, but then I was like invasive, kind of the same thing, but five years, over three years, I, I wanted the five years mm -hmm. so I could just kind of do what I wanted, have sex however many times I wanted in a day and be cruising. So mm -hmm. it's been good for me. So once you get it, it's like, if you don't have those period experiences, and even when you do, it, you don't 
it's you don't even have to worry about it it's just kind of happening as long as you know she's there it's like the best feeling ever by far my favorite part about throwing the thanks birth control party was the female camaraderie it was the sharing it was the learning the laughing together I was actually directly inspired by this taping to go and get myself the menstrual cup because someone spoke about the relationship they felt they created with their cervix and with their vaginal canal by reaching in every day and actually looking at what was coming out and I'm like I want that connection too and that happens all the time women educating and supporting one another and oftentimes when it comes to birth control and specificity we're not getting this information from our schools and we're not getting it from our family members or from our teachers so it does end up being a lot of peer-to-peer -peer education so I asked the women in the group has there been a friend or somewhere close to your age group that has influenced your birth control experience or have you influenced someone Someone else's so the first person to tell me about birth control was my friend Demi um, she's like my I don't know her and her mom talk a lot she was an only child and her mom was like open to talking about so many things and like my sister said earlier we grew up in kind of um, a religious household to where it was assumed that you weren't gonna have sex until marriage like that was just the idea it was you're not gonna have sex until marriage and so my friend Demi and I were both in committed relationships in high school and I had sex at 14 I was in a committed relationship at 14 to 18 wow. and had sex with the same guy and she told me about birth control. She was like, what, you're using the pull-out method? That's crazy, don't keep doing that. You know, Let's get you to an OBGYN. And I was like, what's an OBGYN? And I hadn't asked my mom about that. So she helped me make an appointment. So I made sure to pass that information along to my sister as quickly as possible. Right. <laughs> yeah. My sister, right over here actually, um, <laughs> is the first person who told me about birth control. I think that's that's pretty, you know, it's standard. We actually um, grew up in a Christian community, very conservative. Um, so it was always like, let's get birth control for our acne, you know, and that was kind of like the way in. Um, and people kind of knew, you know, like if you're on birth control, you're going to start thinking about having sex. And I, I was in high school at the time and I was like, I really want to have sex, you know, so like <laughs> I didn't really have anyone in mind, but I was like preparing, I was, you know, I'll, I'll get the flow. So my sister is 11 years older than I am. I'm the oops baby by far. Um, so she was already like late twenties at that point. And, um, I just wanted to talk to somebody about it. My friends were all on it. They're all like sexually active, but I don't know, it was, I needed like a more serious like sit down conversation about it. My mom's not closed off at all, but I don't know, I wasn't ready to just bring it up to mom yet. I was, I'm the last child, so I was like, she's kind of like think something, I don't know. So I talked to my sister about it. I also wanted to know about like gaining weight and like acne and stuff like that and and all the stigma that kind of comes with it too, because a lot of people would be like, oh, you're on birth control or like, I don't know, I was, I was kind of nervous to get any kind of flack for it. So. She talked to me about it and then she brought me to her gyno and I got on the same pill she was at because we have pretty much the same body type and all that stuff. So that was, I trusted her and I trusted her gyno and then it was a really easy day. So my friend helped me get birth control by just kind of being there for me on FaceTime. She couldn't actually be there the day before she had got her next aplon. Um. And I couldn't be there for that. So then she FaceTimed me during this procedure and just kind of talked to me the whole time that this was happening. Even talked to my doctor a little bit, like kind of chatted just so she could hear, like she's down there doing whatever. And I'm just like, hey, da, da, da. and she's like, are you good? How's it going? Like, I'm just walking to class. I'll just sit down. Tell me about your day so you're not thinking about the pain. And I'm like, well, so far, you know, I ate this for breakfast and that's it. That's my whole day. <laughs> But she's just like, well, let me tell you about my day. So this boy, he did yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, uh-huh, tears just rolling. <laughs> I'm like, you're right, uh-huh, okay. Aww. But it was, it was nice having her at least on the FaceTime. And my friend had drove me there, my other friend had drove me there thinking, cause she had got the IUD, thinking that I wasn't gonna be in a whole lot of pain. But I knew, I knew I already had like complications. So I was already kind of expecting it. But she was like, I'll wait in the waiting room for you. And I came out and she's like, oh my God, I should have went in with you, shouldn't I? And I was like, it's okay, so just take me home. you one friend on FaceTime, one friend in the waiting room, and what, like your mom on deck? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sadly, no. Mom was helping the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> mom was the doctor. <laughs> mom was the doctor. <laughs> my relationship with birth control has been 100% personal. I don't think there's ever been someone before who has taken me mm. or who has taken it upon themselves to educate or encourage me. It's all been me going out to a local clinic, 
doing research online, finding out which one works best for me. I haven't even had a gynecologist for a long period of time that I've trusted in that way. So I, it's, it's a kind of a catch-22 of a good and a bad thing. Uh, I think it's good because it increases my relationship because it is deeply personal and it is a decision that I am making out of my own empowerment, my own research. But I also do wish that I did have someone who held my hand on this journey a bit. In high school, I lost my virginity when I was like 16. I didn't have sex for a long time after that, but I kind of got like, I got swindled into it. Um, and I had a dance mom who was, she was like a senior, I was a freshman, so I used to go over her house all the time, I'd spend the night, so she pretty much like called me her daughter. And the moment I told her, like that was the first thing she said, like we're, we're, we're going to get birth control tomorrow. And the last question I asked the group, which I'm also going to ask you, and I want you to write this in the comments section below, what is one thing you would say to birth control if it was sitting in front of you right now? She, you have gotten me through a lot, let me tell you. Just in terms of having better sex, just because I'm not as into my head, um, <clears throat> in terms of knowing my body, because I probably would not put my finger at my vagina unless I was like inserting a tampon or something like that, I would have no real reason to feel like, let me see what's happening in there. Um, so thank you for that. Oh, like You really like have been an excellent addition to my life. Um, you really have been that friend that I've needed in times that I didn't know I needed a friend. You've been dependable in ways that I'm probably not dependable. And I'm sorry for not taking you on time every day. I know it's so easy <laughs> to just put an alarm on and yeah. I blame you sometimes, but I know that like you're doing all that you can do and like I totally adore you for that. I would like to say to you birth control, mm -hmm. you have changed my life. Oh. I have done so many great things on you, with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Birth control has like been, you've been great. Like, I, I couldn't thank you enough for changing my life. Birth control, oh, if you were here, just thank you. I don't know, there's just really, it's, it's a really beautiful experience to have like that control over your body and nobody else can do that besides you. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it's really important just to, to have you. Like you said, like, we'll fight for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't mess with it because yes, yeah. we'll come after yes. whoever's messing with <laughs> yeah. it. If there is one thing this video taught me is that everyone has their own journey when it comes to birth control. And if you are just starting your journey or getting back into it and wanting to find your way and you haven't found a birth control that is right for your body and your lifestyle, go over to bedsider.org right now. They have a wealth of information about the different types. In addition, they can help you locate a clinic which can answer even more of your questions. And speaking of questions, bedsider.org is also a place to go for information and tips on sex, on relationships, on love. So y'all know I'm over there all the time bringing information I can give back to everyone else. And speaking of giving back to everyone else, if you felt empowered and inspired by hearing women declare their love and declare their form of birth control, a conversation that I think should be had way more often because majority of us will have some form of interaction with birth control during our lifetime. I want you to use the thanks birth control hashtag on whatever platform you feel comfortable to continue the conversation, share your story, talk about how birth control has helped you feel like you have the power to decide. Go in the info box below for more information on bedsider black black a girl like this yeah.